So if we draw these three points here, these are just three points that make a path and they're all connected with straight lines. So what Bezier curves allows us to do is generate a smooth representation of these lines and that can be used in computer graphics, and well, it's mainly used in computer graphics and things like that. So what happens is we start from the, um, the this point here and we connect this point, which is the start of this blue line, to the start of the next blue line, which is here. So that green point, green line, sorry, connects the start of this first blue line with the start of this second blue line. And what we're going to do is move across along these lines at a linear rate and um, then replot this this green line and see what happens. So here you go, see those points moving along the lines and as well as that we've got this black point here which is moving across the green line at the same rate and it's that black point there that's actually generating your Bezier curve. And you can see that there these, this point will be heading there to the end, end point of the first line and this point will be heading to the end point of the second line and this black point is always trying to chase the green point so it's always trying to get to the end of this green line and this is a Bezier curve with uh, three points so it's a second order um, curve is this, so this is, this is quadratic Okay, so that's that. So what happens if we go to uh, a third order Bezier curve and uh, we have a bit more of a complicated shape. So we've got here, got four points. Now, so as well as connect the green lines, connecting the, uh, the blue lines together, we've got this pink line which connects the green lines and now the black dot chases along this pink line. Okay, so this is going to play again so you get an idea of what's going on. So there you go, we've got these two green lines moving across the blue lines and then we've got this pink line moving across the green lines and then we've got this black dot which is going across the pink line and that again, that's our third order Bezier curve. That looks quite cool. It looks like some sort of kinematic structure. Um, and then if we go up again with another point uh, and make a bit more of a complicated shape, this one here, you see we've got, as well as the pink lines now, we've got this blue line which connects the pink lines. So every time you add a point, you need an extra set of lines to draw your curve. And it doesn't matter how wonky or, uh, or jagged your points are, uh, for your original points, you'll always get out a nice smooth curve. So no jagged edges or anything like that. It's always going to be a nice smooth curve. It's not going to perfectly represent the shape of your, your original path, but it's going to be a, a smooth equivalent. And your and your curve will always pass through the start and the end points of the path. And that's there you go. Uh, right. So we're going to go. Let's maybe go one more complicated. Uh, and this is here. This is an example of a curve where you haven't, the path that you've got is definitely not a one-to-one -one mapping. So you've got an overlap here, um, and that doesn't matter. The, the algorithm just handles that naturally. It doesn't matter because all it's doing is moving from one point to the next point along all the different lines. So here you go along, and you get a nice smooth curve out of this non-one-to-one -one mapping, non-one-to-one -one set of points. Um, There you go. Starting to look a bit cooler now with all the different lines. Um, and next, I'm going to show you a circle, and this is a circle with ten points. So you see, this is this is what I was interested in because it just, it just looks really quite mesmerising. It's quite cool how all all these simple lines they're all all they're doing is trundling along the length of a line, but you get these incredible patterns being generated. Um, and do another circle with 20 points. There you go. 
and it gets really complicated and it almost looks like fluid flowing on the inside of the circle and if you notice as well with the more points this is this is 20 points now so this is a 19th order Zia curve and uh, you get a bit of a better approximation the more, the more points you get there you go and then to finish it off this is just a zigzag um, and it, again it, it's got no real educational value but it just looks quite um, quite impressive and you just see those points flowing across each other and all this is is straight lines connecting straight lines and you get these amazing patterns and, and this flowing effect which is just quite cool and you see this this W rough shape is smoothed into this nice W shape there and it just looks quite cool There you go. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.